I've heard everything you've wanted to say. Now, I want you to leave. Very well. I will leave Earth and never return. You understand my reasoning for coming here. It was worth a shot. I'm happy for you and my brother as you welcome this new child into the world. Best wishes, Chi-Chi. May your life be filled with happiness. I'm not gonna make it. What the? <laughs> Damn you, Reddits! It's higher than before! Six thousand! Fifteen thousand! Uh, it's over twenty-five thousand! Place the Wish Orb at the base of the statue. When the moonlight reaches the orb, the spirit of the legendary fighter Goku will inherit the statue. Be forewarned, without the Wish Orb in possession of the caster, the spirit within will be ungoverned and wild.
This is strange. What the? No, not again! spike. Echo G's energy levels have raised another 5%. Portals are opening more frequently. Damn it. This plastic device. If we destroyed, we're still left with this outrageous situation. I should have never ordered the creation of Echo G. You keep blaming yourself. What happened, happened. There's nothing you can do to change it, Vegeta. It is what it is. We can't do much more here. These malfunctions are cascading out of control. My worst fears could soon be realized. Sir, another small increase. I'm still trying to bypass Echo G's command functions, but at this point, it's impossible. Damn it! Every headway I make at opening up one command pathway, it shuts down, and another replaces it with a new encryption algorithm. You've done all you can. At this point, trying to stop Echo G is beyond our control. As long as it's still active, we still have a chance, but even so, it's causing further damage. It's time to contact Supreme Kai, and go forward with your part of the plan. You're still up to it, right? Yes, it has to be me. I'm the only one who may be able to get through to him. I understand. We'll hold down the fort here, and wait for your return. 
I don't quite understand how we all ended up here. I thought you would have provided me with some answers, but it seems not. You're just as weak as some of these other weird-looking Goku. Fortunately for me, you're just as cute as I am. But I tend to play rough when I pray before obliterating them. You won't remain cute for long. You may be stronger than me, but that doesn't mean you have to be a bully. Let's work together to find out what's going on here. My dear girl, you are too precious. I'm going to take my time killing you. Savor the moment. Besides, the thought of teaming up with a do-gooder like you disgusts me. My name's Goku, the Speedy Hedgehog. You've got some nerve picking on weaker opponents. Why, you little rodent? I'll blast you away! Thanks for your help. I'm a little out of my league here. Don't sweat it. Stick with me and we'll cover each other's backs. Do you know what's going on and how we ended up in this place? Not a clue. One minute I was racing down Snake Way and protecting King Robokai from Dr. Freezer. The next I'm here, fighting off a bunch of crazy Goku figures. I'm gonna assume that you're also me. Just a human girl with rad looking boots. I'm Goku me, and I'm actually a Saiyan and not a human. A Saiyan? Never heard of that one before. I think a lot of these other versions of me are also Saiyans. Seems like some of them can go super like I can, but without the use of the Dragon Emeralds. Dragon Emeralds? I'm confused. Look, I just need to get back to my world so I can stop Vegina and protect my planet. You're definitely me, all right. That sounds like something I'd say. Let's see if we can get to the bottom of what's going on around here. Who's this guy? He seems strong. Yeah, what's up with those metal implants in his body? Hey buddy, do you need a good surgeon? Perhaps some moisturizer, especially around the parts where your metal meets the skin. That might get a little inflamed around that area. I feel like you unquestionably need a good mechanic. I know just the two-tailed guy to do it. His name's Krillin. Uh, Goku, I don't think he likes being talked to like that. Hey, I know. Let me buy you a can of oil, on me. You don't have to worry about paying me back. I'm pretty confident your rings aren't compatible in my universe anyway. Yup, he's upset. So, there is a version of me that actually has some power. Goku? No. You're not the Goku I know. You dress like him, but your power signature is different. He must have good style. I'd puke if I had to wear clothes like that. If my clothes bother you so much, why don't you do something about it? What? You're strong, but it's not enough. <laughs> Are you sure about that? Thank <laughs> you. 
You need a senzu bean already, huh? I have a whole bag of senzu beans, including an extra insurance policy. Insurance policy? What do you say we end this once and for all? I take it this must be your full power. It's pretty wild, but it's still not enough. Yeah! How can your Super Saiyan 3 generate that much power? My god powers are far beyond Super Saiyan 3. This is impossible! I think it has something to do with the way power scaling works in your universe. Besides, I've got about a hundred or so years of training in on you anyway. That's it! I can't take it anymore! I'm tired of your attitude! I'm going to wipe you out in one attack! Let's see it. Must be a girl version of me, but who's she fighting? Hmm? Mecha Goku. He's different than before. This must be a different variant. He's way stronger than she is. I better help out. Don't bother. I've got her covered. Uh, what? Who are you? No time to explain. I was saving these dragon emeralds for my fight against Dr. Freezer, but I have a feeling we'll be needing them here. They'll help boost her power. Maybe if we're lucky, they'll get her to transform and go super. You mean she can't even go Super Saiyan yet? There's that word again. Saiyan. Why are all you fakers called Saiyans? Go, Kumi. Use this. Is this one of those dragon emeralds you mentioned? Good luck. We're rooting for you. What am I supposed to do with... Nice try! Yeah! Yeah! Using, Using our, our technology, technology. That's crazy! She didn't need to experience the pain of loss to transform into a Super Saiyan. Pain of loss? I don't know how it works for you other fake versions of me, but I've always had to use the Dragon Emeralds to go super. It's the only efficient way to achieve the form. I, I don't know if, if I can control this! Hey, calm hmm? down! You can control it, but you have to remain calm and stay focused! Right! Let's see what I can do! I knew she could do it. It looks like she knocked some sense into him, too. Are you all right? You're not going to attack me, are you? Freezer had control over me. You brought me out of it. Yo, you did great. That was your first time as a Super Saiyan, huh? If that's what you call that form, then yes! Next time when you transform, try using the feeling that you've lost something very special to you. Unless it happens for real, you need to remember the feeling of how the pain of loss feels and then just bring it out. Huh. I'll keep that in mind in the future. What happened? How did we all end up here in this same place? I have no idea. Gokumi and I were talking about that earlier. I know how we got here. 
but it's going to take some time to explain. Goku? should have a baby. A child? You've got to be joking. Kids are useless. Oh, come on. Don't you want a strong boy to carry on your legacy as King of Earth? You could train him to succeed you. My rule over Earth will not be succeeded by anyone. Not even my own son. Besides, what if it's a girl? A princess you can spoil and give her anything she wants. The last thing I need is a second little Chi-Chi running around causing mischief just like her mother. Oh, come on. Let's do it. Let's have a baby. Let's have a baby. I had a feeling you'd show up here, Piccolo. Hello, Goku. Welcome to my home. I give you a tour, but I gave my maids the week off. It's a real shithole, as you can see, so you may want to watch your step. I'm not here for a tour. We need to talk. It's time for some truths to be dealt between us. Truths? What do you know of truths, Namekian? You've spent your whole life in pursuit of your own selfish goals. Ruling over Earth, hunting down Frieza, Vegeta, and myself. Crippling our universe. Obtaining the Dragon Balls to wish for this realm, so that you could fight that other Goku. Now look at you. Is this really what you wanted for yourself? Damn, Piccolo, striking right at the very heart of the matter. I like it. Enough games, Goku. I think you've been aching to get this off your chest for a very long time. You would have killed me on sight once I showed up here, but you didn't. Your demeanor, your attitude, it's all changed. So what is it? All right, Namekian, I'll bite. Of course I didn't want this. Any of this. For a time, I did. But the reality is, I was content living my life on Earth with my wife, until you and Raditz interfered. See, I've taken some time to reflect on just how I managed to get here. I look at what's transpired in my life, what I've done, what I've got. It all led me to this. A big slice of nothing. Every time I had something of value, it's been ripped away from me. Now that definitely doesn't sound like the Goku I know. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you're depressed. Or is it that you realize your actions have had dire consequences to everyone around you? Could it be that the great destroyer of worlds now feels guilty for the pain and suffering that he's caused? Why are you here? You said it was time for some truths to be dealt between us? I want to hear your version of how Chi-Chi died. What do you know of that? I was there. I saw everything. I'm not gonna make it. You saw everything, huh? You saw my brother push my wife out of that building? Raditz didn't kill Chi-Chi. It was an accident. She fell from that building. I tried to save her, but I couldn't get there in time. Chi-Chi's death was an accident, Goku. Your whole purpose for leaving Earth to get revenge on your wife's death, it was a falsehood. I love that woman more than anything. I haven't thought about her in a long time, until recently. I've been fighting for so long, destroying for so long. Inflicting my pain onto others made me feel superior. Made me forget her. Made me forget the pain I felt. 
Why would you tell me this after all these years? For starters, I never had the chance. But I wanted to show you that your version of the truth is not always accurate. If you thought Raditz killed her when he didn't, then imagine all the other falsehoods you acted on that caused destruction, when in reality it was just a misunderstanding. Like I said, I've been doing some thinking. And it occurred to me during my time here that everywhere I've gone and everything I've done has all been destruction, which didn't heal my pain from Chi-Chi's death at all. And now look at where I am, removed from everything, trapped in my own little world, protecting my little slice of nothing. The path I walked has led me to this, a literal world manifested from my darkest desires, filled with empty resolve. I thought I knew what I wanted, but in the end, all of this has left me right where I was all those years ago. Empty. Damn, that's deep, Goku. But the fact that you see that is a big step. Your wounds have healed, but the scars are still present. Save it, Piccolo. I don't need your sympathy. I don't want to help solve whatever problem you're here for. Fighting has got me nothing. All I want now is to be left alone. I used to be a lot of things, but I'm not that guy anymore. The truth is, my time as destroyer of worlds is over. It's been over for a long time. Let someone else take up the mantle of being the strongest. I want no more part of it. Goku's, but why? Why was I brought here? <sighs> you! What's going on here? I... I don't know. We're... We're all being sent to this place. <sighs> Give me that bag! Huh? What's in this? Sensor beans. I, I need one to restore my power. You eat these to regain power? I think I'll hold on to them. You're d different from the other Gokus I've encountered here. W what are you? <sighs> Hundreds. No. Thousands of Gokus are here. Different Goku power signatures scattered across this realm. I can sense all of them, with even more continuously appearing. I shall eradicate them all! This event, however it happened, is a gift! The perfect opportunity to learn more about Goku, to perfect my power and grow stronger! Oh, what a succulent treat! <laughs> What? He's here. Who's here? There's no question. It's that same Goku energy signature from before. My scanners are picking up lots of battles. Strong power signatures, but none that stand out too much. It might just be that his power signature is so massive that you guys aren't picking it up. There are, of course, many ways to hide your power, or ways to show it off. Maybe because I'm a lot stronger than you guys, I can sense it. There's so many battles and so many Gokus, it's hard to pinpoint where he is. Is this that one Goku you were telling us about? 
The one with red hair? No, this Goku is different. He has some kind of weird energy that feels like ours, but yet it isn't. Let's not worry about it. For now, he's not our problem. We need to keep looking for the red-haired Goku I told you about. Hey, what's going on up there? I've looked all over and found maybe 20 Gokus with red Super Saiyan hair, and none of them wore red and gray clothing. I'm starting to think you're just making up stories about fighting this red-haired buddy of yours to make yourself look cool in front of us. Hey, do you think that little creature version of us is too whiny? I heard that! It feels like a really big battle is happening over there. We should check it out. Right! Let's do it! All right, you oversized abomination. Time to feel the pain! <laughs> this weapon is by far the greatest advantage I have! Your weapon. I saw you use it just now. It's most impressive considering your power level. I'm not sensing anything from this guy. Aim your pathetic weapon at me and give me your best shot. If you insist! As I thought. Barely a tingle. What? Now this is impressive. I felt your power. Out of everyone else here so far, you are undoubtedly the strongest. Next to me, of course. You sought me out? What is this power you hold? It's called Ultra Instinct. Ultra Instinct? That's impossible! How could you achieve such a power? I thought only Gods of Destruction could possess such an ability. Let us fight. Whoa! What? body is on fire. Reacting to this power of yours is influencing me even further. He's, He's growing, growing stronger, stronger as we fight. fight. How, How can he be closing the gap this much between us? This Ultra Instinct is not what I thought it would be. It's merely a separation from mind and body. I don't like it. That's the last thing I need. My mind needs to be one with this body, not separate. I need more raw power. Something that can harness more of the Saiyan's potential for combat. There's something you need to know, and I don't know how you're going to react. What are you still doing here, Piccolo? 
Why don't you go back to being Vegeta's little bitch? Chi Chi used you. What did you say? She manipulated you, used you for her own purposes of wanting to take over the world. I don't believe you. How do you know that? Because she told me. Over the past 100 years, our universe has been in complete chaos after you killed King Yema during your little trek through Otherworld. We've been calling it Event Madness. The world of the living and the world of the dead have been merging, phasing in and out of one another. Violent random storms and astrological phenomenon erupting on a galactic scale. During this time, I found Chi-Chi in the afterlife. I needed to find out more about you, about the parts of your past that I didn't see. She told me everything. It was her perfume. It would act on you in such a way to make you more easily open to suggestion. No, that... that can't be! It's the truth. She told me herself. It all makes sense. She was the one who... who wanted a child? Who... who wanted a rule over Earth? And now that you mention that perfume, I realize it... it was present in many of our conversations. She did care for you, but like many others from your past, you were used for your power. My memory is as sharp as a razor, unlike my counterpart who can't remember jack shit. But I can't recall if that perfume was present when I first met Chi Chi or not. <sighs> it doesn't matter. None of this matters anymore. It was decades ago from another life. You deserve to know the truth, Goku. You've been led astray your entire life, and I think you realize that now. That's why Vegeta, Frieza, myself, we all tried our best to get you to see it. But it wasn't the right time. I guess you just... needed to see it for yourself. All I want now, Piccolo, is peace. I want to be left alone. Can't you see that? What if I told you there might be a way to get the peace that you want? Hell, I don't even know what I want. Just some peace and quiet. Echo G is running rampant. The device is once again pulling Gokus from other universes to a single point in time and space. We think it's random like before. Vegeta has another theory. He seems to think that Echo G is forming some kind of consciousness. And its true purpose for bringing all these Gokus together is for some other reason. There really isn't any evidence of that. It's just a theory. But it seems things are going the same way they did before. So here's the deal. Echo G is looking for you. Of course it is! Why wouldn't it be looking for the most badass Goku in existence? All this time it's been trying to pinpoint your energy signature as it originally was designed to do. But as a result of malfunctions, it's pulling in other Gokus. This will continue to happen until it inevitably finds you. One way or another, you're going to be targeted and pulled into this unknown universe. It's just a matter of when. The problem is, we think that once Echo G finds your energy signature, it's going to cease all actions, and all these Goku won't be able to return to their proper universe. They'll all be trapped, and the multiverse will be left askewed. If you go to this universe now, Echo G might stop looking for you. It could stop pulling in all these Goku. Damage control while we figure out how to return all of you back to where you came from. We need you to go there. The sooner the better. This isn't my fight anymore, Piccolo. You're wasting your time. <laughs> I need a beer. Listening to you nag about science stuff is giving me a headache. Listen, Goku. I can only tell you what's going on. You're the one who needs to make up your mind. Your whole life you've been doing things your way, and look where it's gotten you. Like you said, you've gotten a big slice of nothing. Help us this one time. Help us save not just our universe, but the entire multiverse. By helping others, good things will come to you, and maybe through those actions of helping others, you will find what you're looking for. Are you done? That's all I have to say, and that's all that needs to be said. Vegeta and I took the liberty of gathering some helpful items that may aid you during your battles, if you decide to help. There's also a note in there for you. I suggest you read it. But make no mistake, Echo G will eventually find you and pull you in on its own. It's just a question of when. 
By you going there now, it only helps us stop this madness sooner, so we can figure out how to restore everything back to normal. Besides, that other Goku you've been fighting, your counterpart, he may just need your help. And if I recall correctly, from your most recent battle with that Goku Kai hybrid, you owe him one. Piccolo, thank you for coming here. Though, this was a futile attempt at motivating me. Perhaps in a different life, you and I would have been friends. Perhaps, but that's not your style. Maybe it was just an error in judgment. It wouldn't be the first time. I hope you find the peace you're looking for. I'll deal with her myself. You sure? Without your superpowers, she's got you beat. Remember what the other Goku said? The pain of loss can trigger the Super Saiyan transformation. I'm going to achieve it on my own. I understand. Good luck. <laughs> you can't be serious. You expect to fight and win against me? Believe it. I would run into you or that red-haired Goku. So, 
Where's your friend? Goku had all the fun fighting you last time. It seems only fair I get my turn. I was really hoping I could fight you both at the same time. <laughs> we can all get what we want. All right, Goku. Let's see what you can do. going to do something or just lay there and bleed. How I choose to fight you is my business. <laughs> Including the four I just killed, that puts me over a hundred Gokus I've annihilated. Out of the ones I've killed, only three were stronger than you. Keep that in mind as you fight me. Hmm? Maurup juice? I haven't seen this in years. How the hell did they manage to get this? Hmm? Your scent is intoxicating. A little perfume to help keep me smelling good. Conquering the world works up a sweat. This city was easy. You didn't need my help with this one. No, but I'll need your help for this next one. A small resistance has allied themselves with that rodent, Piccolo. They're hiding out in a small town east of here. Let's not worry about them for now. Part of ruling over these peasants is forcing those who challenge you to see they were wrong to oppose you to begin with. To force them to acknowledge your greatness. Another lesson from Roshi? Roshi may have been weak, but he was a brilliant tactician and a strong leader. Sad. I almost regret killing him. <sighs> Your scent is driving me crazy. <laughs> Fine. If the next mission is eradicating Piccolo, so be it. I promise we can spend time together afterwards. A reward for our triumph. We only have a few more obstacles left. Then the world will be ours. I was going to wait, but now seems as good a time as any. Huh? What do you mean? Oh, where did you... <laughs> I snagged it off an old woman's burnt corpse. Maybe I should put it back. It looks a little better on her than on you, huh? As your future queen, I forbid it. Besides, I haven't given you my answer yet. Marry me, Chi-Chi. She manipulated me once. Whether she's genuine now or not, I cannot allow myself to fall victim to her or anyone else again. Maybe someday I'll see her again, but not now. And that about covers my family. We grew pretty large over the years with lots of children and grandchildren. So what about you? Did you get a big family too? I have no family. My Chi-Chi died while she was pregnant with our child. Oh. Wow. I'm sorry. Don't be. I'm sure as hell not. Her death set me free. I rose to power and conquered my universe. By the end of it all, no one could touch me. I was unbeatable. 
I don't think you really believe that. Seems to me if you keep your emotions bottled up inside, it can poison one's mind and well-being. You never resolved your inner conflicts with that, have you? I don't want to talk about this anymore. We've taken a long enough break. It's time to get back to fighting. Hold on. We haven't been out here long, and out of all the times we've fought, you seem to be filled with rage and hatred towards me. I could never really figure out why, though. At first, I thought it was because I bested you in our first encounter. But when we talk like this, I understand you and your motives better. Is there anything I can do to help you? You are helping me. By fighting me. I don't need your friendship, nor do I want it. I'd apologize, but that's just how I am. If you ever want to talk in the future, I'm here whether you like it or not. But if you want to keep fighting, then I won't disappoint you! It's the choices you make in life that determine who you are. Life is a cruel game, and we're forced to play it. I play to win, by any means necessary. I've been cheated too many times in the past. Life owes me a great deal. Life doesn't owe you a damn thing. You get out of life what you put into it. That's been my experience anyway. If you're not satisfied with your life, then it's never too late to make a change, even if that change means altering yourself. I'm selfish in that I always want to better myself by fighting strong opponents, not just for me, but to protect the people I love. It's not just the act of fighting, it's the motive behind it. I seek strong opponents not just to get stronger and protect loved ones, but to seek that part of myself that chooses to fight. To help me understand on a deeper level why I love to step onto the battlefield and give it my all, even if the odds are stacked against me. The choice to fight, whatever the reason is, means the choice to understand yourself. The greatest challenge always comes from within. My biggest opponent will always be myself. The fight within me has been raging for a long time, and it's finally reached its apex. Goku was right. The battle within is our greatest adversary. Goku showed me compassion and friendship the whole time we fought here, and I did nothing but reject him at every turn. My friend needs my help. Fighting at this intensity is awesome! But I can't land a decent hit on her. Impressive. But now, I have to end this. Enough! No one kills her but me. You? I thought you were dead! Killed by my own attack? You wish. I can't believe we're fighting on the same side! Spare me before I puke. This is temporary. It's my lucky day! Two, rise up one! Together, some good could come out of this. I hate you. All right, you've had your fun. Now I get to have mine. Huh? You have sensu beans? Stole them from a Goku who looked vaguely familiar to your red-haired friend. 
that need squashing. Hyper Kaioken attack! to do to this Goku will happen to each and every one of you. Stand and fight me or run and hide. It makes no difference to me. I will slaughter all of you and become the most powerful Goku in existence! was right. The portals have stopped opening. Echo G must be detecting my power signature. Hmm. Lots of Goku power signatures. Including... That Goku God Hybrid! Samasu. And he's fighting... Goku? <sighs> Instant transmission isn't working. There's too many overlapping Goku power signatures making it hard to get a lock onto Goku's position. No problem. Continue to protect and use your pathetic power levels! I guess playing it safe has never been our style. But you must realize that standing before me equals your death. So why? Why would you willingly choose this? If you have to ask, then you'd never understand.
die. What? Goku, you made it. Sorry I'm late. I had some things I needed to work out. Besides, it seems like you were having enough fun for the both of us. He has sensu beans. If you can grab them and get me one, my health will be restored. I, I can help you fight him. <laughs> then I guess I'll have to make sure I destroy those sensu beans to prevent you from healing. <laughs> What, was that a joke? Perhaps. <laughs> that was such a terrible joke. <laughs> That's enough chatter, Goku. It's time to stand and face me. <laughs> Can you believe the ego on this guy? Reminds me of someone I know. <laughs> Is he around? Let's find out. Zamasu, my apologies. I forgot you were there. All your cowering behind that Goku meat suit really makes you invisible. Such defiance. I love it. It will make killing you that much more satisfying. We started a game we didn't get to finish. On this we agree. Two Saiyans locked in combat for dominance. The power I have acquired has made me far stronger than the last time we fought. This body isn't just a tool, it's an extension. An extension of my limitless power. I will continue to seek more power as I wipe out every Goku here. And then, the only Goku left in the multiverse will be me. You fool! Great men do not seek power, they have power thrust upon them. You're not a man or a god. You're an imposter trying to make use of what you don't understand. Power doesn't make the man. It's what that man does with his power that makes him who he is. All I see is a frightened weakling trying to distance himself from who he really is. Without Goku's body, you are nothing. And at some point, this will backfire on you. All that power will keep corrupting you until there's nothing left of who you really are. You're no Saiyan, and hiding in that meat suit doesn't make you a Saiyan or a Goku. It makes you a coward. Spoken like a true barbaric Saiyan. You know what I love about you? Your flawed perspectives and your ridiculous nuances. I will continue to understand what it means to be Goku, embracing his flaws, the flaws of a mortal. I am Goku! You just don't see it. You're blinded by your own flawed perspective. But I will make you see. Huh? What is that? Malrupt juice. I told you once I spent a year in the demon realm a long time ago. This drink is harvested and created by demons. It amplifies one's power temporarily with just one side effect. It causes demon-like traits to emerge within those who are not demons. Shot up dramatically. It has an unusual energy signature. <laughs> You're full of surprises, aren't you, Saiyan? I'm not just any Saiyan. I am Goku, destroyer of worlds! And I'm going to shatter every bone in that meat suit you hold so dear. And as you cry out in excruciating pain, only then will I allow you to slowly but painfully Pass over into the next dimension. Why you?
<laughs> Over 100 years ago, I was a king. With servants, a kingdom, and a squad of warriors to command. I destroyed and conquered Earth as a young man, and ruled like a badass. But I lost everything. For decades, I would go on to conquer the universe, slaughtering anyone who stood in the way of my revenge. Revenge has been my whole life. Now, now I will get my final revenge on you, Kai. Goku and I won the last time we fought, but I didn't beat you. And that kind of pisses me off. You're gonna die today, Kai. Super Saiyan forms must have drained my demon powers. Damn it! <laughs> Your demon form was pretty tough. The damage you inflicted will give me a decent power boost. Huh? The Senzu Beans! These are just an added bonus to get me to recover faster. I should have snaked them when I had the chance! and I can't make a dent in this guy! Is that all you've got? Your Majesty? <laughs> K.O. Ken times 20! mutant muppets who is this annoying creature so fun fact i ran in a single direction for like 30 minutes and this place didn't loop now i've ran around planets before and this place definitely isn't a planet maybe this whole place is some weird dimensional plane of existence 
Or maybe it's like an infinite waffle. I don't really know why I'm comparing it to a waffle. I just really want a waffle right now. Whoa! These are actual forms. That's cute. So you're the red-haired Goku we were looking for. What the hell are you? Some kind of rat? What's wrong with you guys? Do hedgehogs not exist in your universes? Either help me or get out of my way. All right, Red, no problem. You need me to run interference? We need those senzu beans. Say no more, Red. I've got this. I'm the fastest thing in the universe. How did that little creature move so fast? His power is nothing but his speed. It's beyond my sight. This makes no sense. Be back in a second. <laughs> Our buddies are healing up. You insect. Give me back those sensu beans. Sorry, Pinky. I'm just gonna keep lying to you and never tell you what I did with them. Then I'll just have to kill you. You'll have to catch me first. Will you shut up? I've just about had it with you. Sorry, Red, but shutting up is something I just can't do. How about you plug your ear holes? Yo, it looks like we got here just in time. Thanks for the sensu bean. I feel great. And you figured out how to go super all on your own. Nice. I never knew this level of power existed. Now that I've seen all these other levels beyond this, it gets me excited to keep growing stronger. These three are pathetic in power. I could sneeze and they'd be vaporized. Relax, man. They can help. Besides, they're us. So asking them to sit out of this is kind of useless anyway. I need you guys to keep him distracted for me while I prepare something special. You can't be serious. These three will just get in the way. What are you planning? Just give me all the time you can. <sighs> all right, you scrubs. Are you ready? Listen, pal, don't call us scrubs. We're more like majestic wolves. Goku, why don't you take point? Which Goku? Me? I think she was talking to me. No, I was talking to him. Who cares who she was talking to? Let's go! Sorry about that. Hey! Let me out of here! Take this! Thanks a lot, bear version of me. I'd give you some honey, but I'm all out of bees. <laughs> What's that? You hear a calling from another Goku in distress and must go rescue him before he's injured or worse? 
Peace out, Bear Koo. Save all the forest animals when you get back to your universe. <laughs> Hurry up, Goku! I can't hold this guy up for long. Let's get back out there. No! Stay back! Did you really think that attack would kill me? I know you could have dodged it, but we already know why you let me hit you. I must admit, it did singe the tips of my fur. But it seems you can no longer provide me what I need. No more games. Now you will suffer. I really must thank you, Goku. It was you who showed me the secret to unlocking more of this awesome power. There's something different about you. Let us see what's in that primal mind of yours. Hmm, interesting. So, a device named Echo G is responsible for all this madness? That's quite the life you've had. How pathetic. Having a mate makes you weak. Curious how Chi-Chi's loss is what set you loose across the universe to cause destruction. But Chi-Chi was nothing more than a lie. Get out of my head. I've moved on. I'm here for me. After understanding you better, you and I at one point were very much the same. You seeking revenge and conquering your universe, while I sought to destroy all mortals. We both triumphed over the bodies of the weak, but now we both have changed, evolving past our prior ambitions. Instead of hunting down all mortals, I should be hunting down all the Gokus in this infinite multiverse. You talk too much, Kai. Kill me or release me. Stop wasting my time with all this talk! Oh, but you'll want to hear this one, Goku. I'm sure of it. Once I'm done killing you and all the pathetic Gokus here, I think I'll head to your universe. This way, I can get to know Chi-Chi a little better. <clears throat> what? You think you've moved on from her, but deep down you haven't. I saw the note that you read. If becoming a mortal means embracing feeble mortal acts like sex, then I think I'll have to have a taste of Chi-Chi for myself. You son of a- Huh? What is this place? Is this real? Or is this all in my head? Huh? Who the hell are you? I don't think you're supposed to be here. Are you lost? No, I... I... I was lost, but I... I was fighting... Zamasu. I need to get back! My friend needs my help! Who are you? I'm Komei. Who are you? 
My name's Goku. That's the same name as my daddy. But mommy says he's gone right now. Uh, your mother is... Chi-Chi. She's calling for me. I have to go now. Do you want to come with? Go on. Go on without me. I still have work that needs to be done. It looked like you needed that. You're right. I did need that. Thanks, kid. You better hurry back to your mom. You just won't stay dead. It's something of a miracle that you pulled this power out of your ass. Seems you can tap into your Super Saiyan powers and channel it without transforming. It's nothing more than a strong focus. Diverting everything you have into focusing on dodging means you can't attack. This time, I'll vaporize your body with your own signature attack. I'm ready. Goku, I remember when you used that against me. It took a bit longer now that I'm alive again. Tell me how you lost the Halo later. Where are the Senzu beans? Here. He's still alive. Yeah, I detected something once I landed that hit. Like a snap or a disconnect. Whatever you did, it's not good. I feel it too. This doesn't make sense. How can he be growing stronger so quickly? I think the universe works differently where he comes from. He can recover and become stronger faster than we can. There isn't much time. I need to tell you something. I robbed you from your universe. I was jealous when we first met. You got everything that I didn't in life. I hated you for it. Your smug, positive outlook. The humiliation after our first fight. I became obsessive. I wanted nothing more than to beat you. 
for you to feel the pain that I experienced my whole life. And well, I'm sorry for the pain that I've caused you. Goku. Shut up and listen. You once told me how our choices shape who we are, that it's never too late to make a change. You may have been right, but a major difference between us is that you see the best in everyone, even if they are your enemy. I don't. I see the worst. You saw the best in me and wanted to help. You let go of your pain and moved on. I can't. I never move on. I internalize everything and keep it with me. Then all that remains is a raging fire of pain and anger. And for a long time, I got used to it. I need my pain. It's who I am. If I lose it, I lose myself. I bury my pain deep down inside and vent it through my actions of fighting. It's the only way I know how to deal with what's happened in my life. You see the next challenge to test yourself and get stronger. I see the next challenge as a way to cope with my own inner struggle. Combating you over the past century has made me realize that my choices in life have gotten me nothing I truly wanted. So, like you mentioned, I'm making a change. I came here for me, but I owe you my thanks. We are brothers, and if we survive this, I will never fight again. I'm done. It's time to fix my mistakes. No way! He's a different kind of Super Saiyan 4. He's been corrupted with too much power. Your hit to his head must have done something to the mind of Zamasu. I don't care how powerful he is, we'll still win. Always so optimistic. Too bad I never taught you fusion. Sounds lame, I'd rather die. Always so pessimistic. You know, your ego reminds me of Vegeta. And your talking is denying us from this radical fight. I think we're going to get slaughtered. Now that's the realest thing I've heard you say today. There must be hope for you yet, Goku.
destroy all of them! Just who the hell are you? I am your end. <laughs> You're nothing but a fool. It's him. That one Goku from before. Behold my power. transformation what form is that the same form as me <laughs> but I've never sensed anything like this this Goku is far beyond my power
fighting. What is this? Sir, Echo G, it's... it's... I don't know what it's doing. I'm not a medical technician, but if I'm not mistaken, these are brain patterns. Echo G is forming some kind of consciousness. This is impossible! Those energy signatures it was gathering must have been energy from every Goku on the battlefield! It seems I was right all along. Echo G is alive! Did you really think that you were the strongest warrior here? You are beaten! What is this? Echo G. I'm the strongest. I'm the strongest! is insane! It's Echo G. Somehow it's formed a body using our energy. Guys, I think it's worth mentioning. I really hate the color green. entire universe this thing is a threat to the entire multiverse we have to stop it echo g uses zero point energy and if this thing is like the physical device back in my universe it can amplify and harness unlimited energy everything has a weakness we need to figure out what that weakness is
Well, that was brilliant. Are you all right? I'm fine. I've got it. Let's try a spirit bomb. If we can get everyone here to lend energy to the spirit bomb, maybe that'll be enough to take it out. And just who's going to hold this multi-universal Goku spirit bomb? I'll, I'll do, do it. it! It was my idea. I'll do it. You guys get the word out. Start having every Goku here send me their energy. All over it, boss. What is it? You and I both know that spirit bomb won't break that barrier. You're giving our team false hope. It's all we've got left, unless you've got any other suggestions. Besides, you of all people should know, we never give up. So here's the deal. Echo G is looking for you. <laughs> of course it is! Why wouldn't it be looking for the most badass Goku in existence? All this time it's been trying to pinpoint your energy signature as it originally was designed to do. But as a result of malfunctions, it's pulling in other Gokus. This will continue to happen until it inevitably finds you. One way or another, you're going to be targeted and pulled into this unknown universe. Seems Piccolo was right. The portals have stopped opening. Echo G must be detecting my power signature. Huh? I know that look. What is it, Goku? We both had our victories and our defeats. But the truth is, our conflict is over. Get your ass back home. Find your family. Echo G is my kill.
What happened? Where's Goku? He absorbed the spirit bomb and obliterated Echo G. I'm afraid he... No. No! I can sense him! It's faint, but he's alive. Goku! <sighs> did... did we do it? Yes. It's over. Spirit Bomb... W wouldn't have worked. My... E energy... was the key. Everything is going to be okay. Uh, uh, a realist... <laughs> and a liar? Now we're making progress. Uh, our fights were... Legendary. Right, brother? I had a brother once. He was a lot like you. But I'm proud to call you brother. Goku. No. Echo G has been completely destroyed. There's no trace of any energy signature from it on the battlefield. <sighs> Looks like every Goku is being sent back to the proper universe. It's done. What about our Goku? There's no trace of his energy. He's gone. Then we shouldn't let his sacrifice be in vain. It's time to find the remaining Dragon Balls. Wish back King Yemma, and restore our universe back to normal. According to what Supreme Kai said, so Resmi should be able to do it. But because it's been more than a year after his death, it will take two of three wishes for it to be granted. What are we going to use the last wish for? I have some ideas. Goku, I'm sorry for your loss. Thanks, Gokumi. Hey, look! I think we're being sent home! Thanks for the help, guys. I've never had brothers before. But you guys provided me with more insights about myself than I never could have imagined. I'll never forget you. That goes for me, too. This experience was radically weird and not in a bad way. We're more alike than I thought, so I won't call you guys fakers anymore. Come by my universe anytime. With your help, I regain my identity. I cannot thank you enough. As soon as I get back to my universe, I'm going to save Piccolo and defeat Frieza once and for all. I'll miss you guys. We're like a weird family of brothers and sisters. We make a great team. Thanks a lot for your help, and good luck with your future battles. We had a lot of fun battles, even if we were trying to kill each other. Maybe someday, we'll meet again. Sayonara, Goku.